What is up guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mike and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be preparing some delicious lamb shanks. Uh, just ideal for the family, some proper lamb cooking videos, especially now during the colder seasons in South Africa. Um, well, you can actually eat them all year round. Uh, we're gonna start off by scoring the lamb shanks. It will just help to release some of the tension on the fats, especially when you put it in the oven. And it'll make the meat um, also help the meat get nice and soft. We're going to start the seasoning rub by actually using some coarse black pepper, grinding a fair amount onto there, and we're using a rusty career rub by Robertson Spices South Africa. Um, it contains some lemon leaf, some Atlantic sea salt, rosemary, and some thyme. It gives a very nice flavor and it complements the, the lamb very, very nicely. If you're going to want to be generous with the amount of rub that you put on, we are going to seal them in the pan later so that rub doesn't just boil off when we put it in the wine. And we want to press the rub gently, well actually not gently, you can push quite hard, get that meat um, nice and tender, push all the rub into it. And we're just going to repeat this process for both of the lamb shanks. Moving on to the cooking of the lamb shanks. We're actually just gonna place them in a cast iron pan, get the pan nice and hot. We are gonna sear them nicely just to, um, to lock in all the flavor and just preventing all the spices from boiling off when we place it in the oven later. Um, you're gonna to want to heat up the cast iron quite a bit um, until it starts to get a little bit smoky and you can just coat it with some olive oil. There you can see we're getting some nice color on the lamb shanks already and the fat is rendering down pretty nicely. From here on, they're just gonna go from the pan straight into the oven with some delicious red wine. You also wanna make sure when you do sear them in the pan that you get the ends just to seal it in nicely and just prevent any of that spices from falling off as well. We're gonna put them in the oven at about 180 degrees C for around about 45 minutes to one hour, depending on the size of your um, oven. I know some people use convection ovens and so forth. Your standard oven should take about 45 minutes to an hour. All right, I'm preparing it for the, for the oven now. You're gonna put about three cups of sweet red wine um, mixed with some, say, three tablespoons of garlic in there. Moving on to the potatoes, um, I did pre-boil the potatoes, they are baby potatoes. Um, just in a pan we're going to do some parsley and also some garlic and about two knobs of butter. Just to get them nice and brown, it'll give that nice fluffy texture to the potatoes on the outside. Moving on to the savory rice. We did pre-boil some rice earlier. Um, you could add any side that you want. You add some noodle salad, um, just some mashed potatoes, traditionally served with mashed potatoes and coleslaw. But we, I just preferred some rice. So I started off ch chopping up some um, Thai chili. It's not too spicy. Um, then also some capsicum or green pepper or red pepper. Also finely diced. I'm just gonna mix these two together with the chili and then add it to the, the rice to give it some nice flavor with some salt and pepper.
Okay, um, with the time passed now, we can actually just pull the lamb out of the oven and you should see some beautiful um, lamb shanks with the bone pulled back all the way nicely with the meat centered towards the end. It's nice and juicy, it's not dried out. Um, that's why we want to avoid putting it in a too hot an oven. And there we go, we can serve it up. I just served it on the side with some delicious garlic butter potatoes and some savory rice. And then you can just use the red wine sauce from the, the roasting in the oven as a nice sauce just to coat the lamb. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.